tell you what, it's been getting colder here. Look, I'm back in full hood mode. <sighs> right, it's currently the 2nd of March when I am doing this. And I just want to do a brief February finances overview. So let's get started. Okay, so where shall we start? Let's start with a quick overview of what my income has been like for February. I made just over a thousand pounds. That comes from a mixture of sources. So I've got the cleaning work, which brings me in just under 400. Banking interest, which is just over 100. Surveys, I made 145. Uh, YouTube brought me 139 pounds 25. Um, donations from coffee and PayPal came to 61 pounds. I made 18 pounds from Vinted and Universal Credit was a weird one this month because of um, because of the way it runs from mid-month to mid-month and at the end of January I paid my national insurance and I also started contributing to a private pension so whereas I thought I was going to be getting about £200 or something like that I actually made just uh, got oh, just over 500 from them so that was a uh, something of a surprise. Um, so that is on top of that. Uh, outgoings. I spent far too much money on food this month. I don't know how that happened. I think I just got lucky with some deals that weren't even the sort of thing I would normally buy so had I bought everything at full price um, and I, I bought a hundred items in February if I bought everything on full price shelf price in the shop that would have come to £123.49 I actually paid £31.36 in terms of food that I've eaten um, I saved £71.53 buying yellow stickers and made £3.25 in cash back. And then as I've, as, as I've explained before, anything I don't open, anything I don't eat, gets rolled over to the next month. I've had a few out-of-pocket expenses, a couple of cards. Um, I bought a new cradle for my car, for my, for my phone. Um, a few other bits and pieces anything that is non-grocery so anything that's not edible so that'll be cleaning products toiletries medicine anything like that comes into that so this month I spent £41.79 on anything that isn't covered elsewhere I paid my car tax this month because my car tax starts on the 1st of March so I bought it in February. My car tax is £20 for the year and that's because I have a very small car. Um, that's never changed, it's always been 20 quid, and I'm pretty happy with that. My gas and electric this month was £48.02 and, and I've already talked about that. Hopefully that'll go down next month. It's cold, but the heating is not on. It's not that bad. Um, so hopefully that will be down. Council tax. Um, you pay council tax over 10 months, not 12. And then the February, March, um, you don't pay it because they're preparing for the new tax year and putting all the new bills together for the year. So no car tax this... Um, sorry, no council tax this month. Um, a few extra little bits and pieces fees for Etsy, Shopify and coffee uh, didn't come to very much and then something that I'll actually be paying for next month but I got through this month was the renewal of the breakdown cover for my car now last year I paid £45 for um, the premium all-in-one package that means and I take that out now because I'm doing because I do most of my car journeys are long journeys so 
it'll be long journeys down to my parents, that's 250 miles each way, or I go off doing car camping, I'll be somewhere up in Scotland or the north of England or something like that. And so it is good to be covered for everything. So last year I paid £45, which was more than the year before. This year it's gone down to 43 so I'm just going to be saving a grand total of £2. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, this month isn't too bad. March, March will see the new council tax come through ready for the beginning of April, so I dread to think what that's going to look like. Um, and uh, other bills that haven't changed very much, like my, my water rates have stayed the same. I think I'm paying £14.10 a month. Um, from uh, 6th of, uh, is it the end of March going forward. Um, rent, uh, as I've already discussed before, I pay once every six months as a six monthly amount, so I won't have to be paying that until April, um, but it's not up for a renewal, so I know exactly what that's going to be. That pretty much covers everything. It's not been a horrific month. Income has been okay, although Universal Credit will tell you otherwise because of those outgoings that I didn't think counted as actual expenses, whatever. So my national insurance is now paid up for, for the year because only as a self-employed person I pay it once a year and my um, my pension will continue to go out £192 a month and then it gets topped up by the 20% by the, from the government up to 240. Um, before the end of the tax year, I want to top it up to the full quota that I am allowed for the tax year that we're currently in, which is 3,600 because I'm not a taxpayer. I have, I can release enough savings to top that up. So uh, towards the end of March, I'm going to be putting that extra chunk of money into the pension. Gives it a bit of a kick start, and then once the new tax year starts, we'll carry on with the 192 stroke 240 a month. And hopefully at some point through the year, I'll be able to top that up to its full allowance as well. At the moment, that is everything. It's been a relatively quiet month. We're ticking along. We earned more than we spent, which is good. That's what we aim for. But of course, we have months that are worse and months that are better. And that's the nature of self-employment. Um, you have to be able to plan for the bad months so, and then uh, make the most of the good months. And I'm used to working like that. I've been living very much with an, an erratic income for the last... Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 years now, I'm just used to it. I'm used to being careful with what I spend so that there's enough money in the bank for the essentials. Um, so when there's not so good income months, everything's still covered, everything still gets paid for as it's supposed to be. And then when we have a good month, it just means we get put a bit more back into savings. Um, I don't spend on anything that I don't need that I don't class as a reasonable essential, but when I am, am buying something that's a want rather than need, it tends to be something really small, like those joggers that I bought that were six quid, um, but those are pretty rare purchases, I have to say. So uh, there will be numbers at the side here, all over the place, um, giving a rough idea of what's going on. Um, YouTube, YouTube income is calculated in a funny way, so they pay a month behind, um, and the months are the full calendar months. So it's the beginning of March now, so I already know what I have earned for um, what I'm going to get paid on the 24th of March, because it's already just been calculated, because um, YouTube works two days behind, so today when I'm recording this, which is the 2nd of March, I've seen today that it's telling me how much I have earned before tax on YouTube and, and a little bit of tax comes out, but it's it's only like one fifty or £1.50 or something like that. So I'm going to put a little graph up here actually because my, my actual earned income for February, which I will get in March, is a lot higher than my previous two months. Now I'm still playing it cautiously 
doing my financial predictions for this year I've allocated 140 a month to YouTube because that's th those first two months that seemed to be about average this month has been different um, I don't know if that's a one-off I couldn't see where there was a, a particular spike in any traffic so it might be that this is um, a new trend for me. I have been posting a lot more this month purely because I had lots of things to say and I wanted to break them up into smaller videos because of the different subjects. Um, normally I wouldn't post every day. I only do it when I have tons of material that I need to get out that's perhaps a bit time sensitive. So at the moment I'm going back to doing one post every other day and I'll see if that makes a difference. If it looks like um, posting a video every day makes a difference to my income to that degree, because that's quite a lot of extra money for this month, then I might consider breaking up my posts a bit more and doing every day. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm producing more material, um, because it's already a lot of work. Um, I produce fairly basic videos, but to be honest with you, it's still a lot of work editing recording, um, putting it all together, uploading it onto the um, the software and then uploading it to YouTube. So I don't really want to have to create any new extra material and certainly I don't want to be recording lots of new stuff just for the sake of it, just for the sake of the money. But if I'm recording anyway and maybe a video is a bit too long or there's a lot of subjects all going on in one video and it's too complicated for people to follow because people follow me for lots of different reasons then I will break it up but I'll keep an eye on that and, and we'll see how March goes in terms of traffic I'll try and stick to an every other day video and we'll see if that makes a difference or whether it's just that I've just got more subscribers now more people are following me because my numbers are going up uh, that's a little experiment for this month now in March uh, that's about it at the moment. Um, I'm always thinking about how I want things to go this year and what I want to do this year. So two years ago was a very bad income year for me. Last year was me getting back on my feet and I improved my income. This year, if my estimates are correct, this year should be a better year than last year. And I feel like I want to be a little bit cautious this year. And if the figures that I have done are reasonably accurate and my income is better this year, then I feel like I can, can start thinking of that as my regular income going forward. Because there are limitations on what I can do. There is only so much I can make doing surveys and market research. There is probably a limit for my type of channel on how much I can earn on YouTube there will probably be a limit for how much I will do in terms of the cleaning work and that's purely because I don't really want any more cleaning work because then I'm starting to move into the realms of being tied to a, a regular job that takes away all the reasons that I was doing all this which is the work-life balance and the freedom I have to do all the other things that I do. So I'm going to see how this year goes I do want to do other things and I don't want this year to be like last year but I fear I might end up doing that just being here existing being a bit creative doing a bit of this doing a bit of that and not making any drastic changes I don't know what drastic changes I would be making in my life at the moment the only things really that I can see that would be proper changes in my world would be moving and that isn't going to happen um, it will be a waste of money because I have no particular reason to move beyond moving for the sake of it which seems like a terrible waste of money um, because the only place I think I would want to move would be nearer family but going south is more expensive so that's not going to happen at the moment um, so I just need to look at how I can make this year count for a bit more than last year which was very much a just trying to rebuild income and get on a sure footing. Um, I would imagine that in September I will be signed off from Universal Credit so by then I need to have 
to be making sure that I have replaced the money that I get from that with other income which means I have to find at least another £300 a month more either from within what I'm already doing or through another income stream and I haven't decided what to do about that yet um, I'm still looking into it I, I don't want it to be the cleaning work because that's just me just going back to working for other people uh, which is why I need to see what else is out there that I can do or how I can increase what I'm already doing myself. Uh, of course the main thing would be just making more money at my business. I wouldn't have to sell very much each month to make the difference but we are stuck in a cost of living crisis and people's um, appetite for spending has changed no matter what you may see or hear. Um, you can see the downturn in the traffic on the sites you can see that people are window shopping a lot more and making want lists but they're not buying stuff um, prices are still incrementally rising in a lot of areas and I hear that there will be other food prices going up later this year apparently there's a lot of um, a lot of problems in the chocolate industry although you know I could do without chocolate but it will make a difference to people's budgets if that's something that they they project into their into their outgoings and particularly where food is so expensive at the moment um, but I've had no expectation that this year would be good I am expecting it to be like this like it is now all the way through this year and that there might be some improvements early next year so I have no real expectation for making lots of money on the business this year and because I am set up with lots of little side hustles and little bits and pieces going on that means I don't have to worry about it <laughs> because the last thing I want to be doing is worrying about a business I can't change and stressing myself out and panicking about it because I've made that my only income or my main income stream it currently isn't my main income stream so the extra money would be nice and I am going to be focusing more time on onto the advertising and marketing and the, and the making of things as the weather improves and I get more creative again at the moment I'm still in that weird slight limbo we're not quite in spring and we've had a sudden drop in temperature and I've kind of slowed down again quite a lot so I'm just waiting for that improvement which will probably come after I get back from my um, my March April visit to my parents I think once I get back from there we will be fully in spring then and then it's going to be all systems go so that's my little update for money um, it's not terribly exciting um, but to be honest with you my life isn't terribly exciting anyway and I think for some of you that's why you are here it's called normal life and um, we celebrate normal life here because most of us are doing it there are very few of us with insta lives and if you followed the people who had insta lives you would realize their lives are also very uninteresting um it's it's all a big con anyway so i'm going to leave you with that and have a good week and um, i shall speak to you again very soon no doubt bye bye <laughs>